Students, gather your parchment, your quills, your spell components, your arcane focuses, your cheat sheets, your friends, your snacks. Welcome to Book of Dawn IOTH Academy. I'm Tormented by Gnomes. I'll be your game master today. Joining me, I have my phenomenal cast consisting of Crowen, Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, Necra. Welcome back, all of you. Let's start, as always, with Crowen because, you know, your username comes first. How are things going for you? <laughs> so much pressure on me every time. Am I going to mute this time? You, <laughs> you should have named yourself Zizix or something. True. I should have seen ahead however many years since I've had this name. But uh, doing doing good. Clash of the Codex is uh, coming to a close. And it's been really fun mm -hmm. uh, reading all the fights and you know having them on broadcast and stuff. So... Uh, that's going well, and excited to uh, see Ariana do more, or not do more drugs, grow more drugs. There we drugs. go. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to have to include the whole intro song to get us past the 30-second mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should not have said drugs, my bad. Oh, we have more drugs. I ruined it. You're fine. YouTube is not a primary revenue source for this show anyways. <laughs> I cast demonetization at third level. Yep. You have Roll a constitution saving throw. throw. <laughs> <And that spell. laughs> oh, man. Speaking of which, leg day, how are things for you? Uh, it's getting better. At the beginning of this week, when I had a show on Monday at 7 a.m., my OS decided to uh, commit seppuku. No! <laughs> so I had to reset my entire PC at about, mon at about midnight on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, no that, that was a very stressful beginning to my week, and I'm glad <laughs> that things are calming down a little bit. Were you able like to hit everything you tried to do? Did you have to cancel anything? Uh, no, I managed to hit everything, and I had four best of best of three to cast that day. And Were you that, wired that, through that, was that a... entire broadcast? Just yeah, I, adrenaline. I probably there. drank about ten Red Bulls that day. Uh... <laughs> oh no, you sponsor us, Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> Lemon, how are things? Good, good. Mm. Uh, not as exciting as computer crashing or drugs apparently as i'll say it again just to completely make sure we have advantage on the constitution roll <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but things are good awesome necra you were on the front page of twitch earlier today doing the thing yeah i guess i was i i don't know when that happens but sometimes it happens that was kind of cool they don't tell you they're just like, no Surprise. They don't. It's just it happens, and then you're like, yeah, okay. I guess I guess that's what it is today. Uh, but yeah, I did a Twitch Rivals today. Super fun Minecraft mini games. Love that. Love that stuff. Good stuff. And <laughs> yeah, when Do Not Peek does stuff that's on the front page, we uh, we're just like, yes, at some point you will be in some position on the rotator. <laughs> and the only way we know is when the numbers spike. So it's <laughs> it's like a random encounter. You never know exactly what's going to go down. True. When we last left our heroes, Garnet had overcome. Who was the last person that you dueled, Garnet? I can check the bracket, but you know that sounds like work. Was it Kilgore? Kilgore, sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so focused on today's match, I forgot about the rest. <laughs> I mean, the past is irrelevant. We look uh, to the future. Just, yeah. I'm just exonerable or whatever. Megali and then Kilgore. Yeah, Megali and Kilgore. <laughs> And now you're on to Renobi next up in the semifinals. Ew. So according to the current timeline, today, tonight, is the quarterfinals of the Clash of the Codex just finished. And this time it is not Garnet who's having late night lessons with the teacher, but Ariana. Ooh. Ariana has been brought by Sig Gezig, the mysterious teacher of alchemy, herbology, and botany at the school at Ioth Academy. Uh, a tall, raspy, very heavily cloaked, high-collar-wearing figure uh, who smells vaguely musty and is constantly surrounded by crows uh, has led you all the way up to the Garden Tower, past the greenhouse, up to the Garden Tower, this whole encounter was precipitated by the fact that for the last few years, you went through an incredible amount of effort to make a Mordain flower bloom in the grove. The Mordain flower normally only grows in the dragon swamps of Megaini to the far north. So your ability to pull this off is really impressive. However, it is drugs. 
So we were so excited and so (laughs) innocent and so eager to share this very significant scientific and magical discovery with your mentor uh, that you didn't really think through the fact that this is an illicit substance and an incredibly deadly substance that almost killed you that one time. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Right. That was our first experience with whole person, by the way. It was. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) There, there, there's a track. Foreshadowing. <laughs> so, after you showed Sig Gezig that flower, Sig was extremely impressed, but also, uh, no, I'm taking this. This is confiscated. This is going off in the special collections until later. Mm-hmm. And now, in response, you've been brought late at night up to the garden. So it's at the v- almost, not quite, but almost the very top of Tarselmoor Hall. Up through the several floors, the hall where everyone eats, where the boggle slide was recently executed, uh, up above that to the greenhouse level, and then up another set of stairs to a glass dome that sits on top of the greenhouse. There's a flowing fountain and a small magically filled pond here. There are trees. The air smells like a forest. It smells like, like pine trees and the mulch. Not that rotting mildew but just that slight scent of leaf decay that gives a forest its its ambiance if you will and uh, i don't know if it's a space in which you've spent a whole lot of time i imagine that you would have made your way up there at some point especially given that you've you've lost access to the morning flower Mm -hmm. uh sig is here to talk to you about arcane botany before we proceed, Ariana, do you have any questions? Is there anything that you wanted to, to bring up, do, react, say, etc.? I believe we left off with uh, Sig mentioning something about that to, to Ariana. And so I feel like in that moment, she kind of would just go like, huh. Arcane botany? Yes. What, is, what does that mean? As wizards, alchemists, and the like, our purview over nature is usually restricted to knowledge and execution. There are others out there with direct communion with the forces of nature. That's not our way. We proceed according to Philosophical principles, study, analysis, the manipulation of arcane energy. To apply that in the same way that worshippers of nature do. Establishing that level of control, that level of direct interaction, is not easy. It requires an absolutely fundamental understanding of what gives plants life. The elemental and arcane forces flowing through them. There's a reason healing magic is largely the province of the divine. Understanding the way that bodies heal themselves, those individual processes, incredibly complicated. But I think you've got a knack for this. Well, I do like to grow my own plants and flowers that also aren't Mordain. Yeah, notice that. I maybe but there was also that one time that I might have set a whole garden on fire yes that's in your file it is yeah it's the odd thing about you a wizard comes to us comes to the school maybe with a a little spark a little source Mm. Mostly the Alfar, but by and large, they learn to tap into the power of the world. They don't have it in them. They just have in them the wit to learn it. And that's what you've been studying. But at the same time, you've got this wind about you, this... Ah, it's odd. You bring plants to life, and you're really good at burning them down at the same time. <laughs> it's, you're, you're a strange one, Ariana. 
Thank you. We can work with that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You've got the burning part down. You've learned how to do that on purpose. <laughs> We're going to work on the other part. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Ariana, I would like you to roll a nature check, please. As Sig begins uh, grilling you on the individual plants in this room. Not just identifying the plants, but also explaining how they absorb air. How they absorb earth. How they absorb water. What role fire plays in their makeup. You can have advantage on this for your past experience. Oh. Depends okay. On yeah, that's I'll good. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gain a level in the Druid class. <laughs> okay, a 24. Your nature is fine. <laughs> All right. Sig nods, takes into account the fact that you do know what you're talking about because, yeah, for sure, you've been able to magically bring plants to life before, but really the kicker here is that you have spent so much time studying the ins and outs of all these different aspects to get your morning flower to live, to thrive. You've studied soil pH, you've study, studied uh, mineral content in water, temperature change, all those things. Sig is going to work with you to learn how to directly manipulate those elements through magic in living plants, Ooh. not just altering the terrain and the water and the climate, but actually like going inside the plants. I don't want to say molecular structure because we don't have that level of sophisticated understanding at this point, scientifically speaking, but they're getting there. And the fact that the elements are a thing means that science only has so much of a part to play. But the point is living systems are incredibly complex. And when you're not just lighting them on fire, subtly controlling them is not easy. And Sig is going to go over how to do that with you in these lessons. Cool. And as a result of this first lesson that you take in the garden, and as a consequence of the innate magic already within you that it, it speaks to plants, Sig's guidance combined with your innate capability means that you can add the druid craft cantrip to your spells. Cool. What's that do? I just want 50 <laughs> euros. <laughs> I don't know what that does either. But yep. do you know, I forget, do you know how to drag spells to your character sheet? Mm. Let's let's go over that. It's super, super helpful. Okay. <laughs> if I can find my mouse. And just for full disclosure, Untermiauler is occupying about 70% of my mouse pad right now. And <laughs> 5% of my keyboard, so if oh. I press the wrong button, chat, you'll know why. <laughs> Behold an act of God. No! Nah! <laughs> All right, so what? if we go to here, I am looking at your character sheet. You're on the spells page. That's great. Yeah. So on the right-hand side, yeah. click the, open up the, uh, in, the blah, 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 the compendium. Which That's is the, the letter I. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just type in Druid Craft, all one word. Oh. And the spell should appear on the right hand side. Aha. Now click it and just drag it over onto your spell list. And it should say accepting drop from compendium. <gasps> Hello. Yeah. This changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's super, super helpful. Super helpful. You can do that with a lot of things, items, but usually I use it for spells because I don't want to copy and paste everything. That takes forever. Now you know. Now I know. Your, your mileage may vary, audience. You need to the Roll20 version of whatever compendium you're dragging from. <laughs> yeah, some of it is free. Like some of the 5th edition stuff is free, but the spells in Xanathar's Guide, some of the spells in the Player's Handbook, etc., those aren't free, but a lot oh. of the core stuff is. So, And this is only the beginning of your training. This is the first step towards becoming an arcane botanist. There's a lot more to follow. Yeah, I feel like Ariana is now going to spend a lot more time on those lessons than anything else in the past <laughs> school year. And that's not going to affect her grades. No, 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 no not at all. Fine. 
It'll be Not fine. We'll just plummet like a rock through the codex. You're going to go like evil Toby Maguire <laughs> going through the corridors, just like making flowers boom, like, pah. <laughs> <laughs> True. You have a flower. You have a flower. <laughs> All right. That, you're going to get to bed fairly late tonight. So, you know, this could impact your studies to a certain degree, but you're going to start picking up tips and tricks and things that most wizards are unable to do. It's still the evening after Garnet's victory over Kilgore. Does anyone have anything they need to do before they head down to bed? The semifinals of the Clash of the Codex are tomorrow. And you already know that your opponent is going to be Renobi, Garnet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the whole person. Let's go, boys and girls. I, uh, I'll have to familiarize myself with the other contestant who's in the finals to see if the whole person is in her repertoire. I think it is. I think we're ah, that's, that's how she be Athalor. Yeah, I mean, the meta emerges. <laughs> <laughs> As in right. any game, there is a meta. Mm -hmm. Blizzard, please patch. <laughs> Dude, I'm so Can't sick. believe we've allowed the hold person meta for this long. Hold so much pressure like they stop it. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Fix tanks. Fix <laughs> tanks, <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> um so the night before i'm gonna be talking with una and conspiring mm -hmm. and uh, what's the boggles situation what do they have wh what are they up to where refresh me team where did you stow them you've made a compact we with them boggle day uh, we, we stowed them in the maze because we figured yes, that's yeah. where they'd well, be the, the most the able to maze. evade detection or at least look like they're part of the tapestry of illusions. Mm. We just left them there. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought they were working with Cryus on with his research. I think so, we like, sent Cryus to them. <laughs> uh, he would like check in with them or whatever. Mm -hmm. or but I think he, he got... Uh, yeah, he got wiped out of the... He's pretty weak right now because he just lost his match against Renobi. So mm. he's not up to much tonight. He burned <laughs> all of his good spell slots. His pride is destroyed. He's not feeling super productive. Are you trying to goad him into action or do you need boggles for something? Uh, well, you know, I'm just wondering if um, Uno would be able to talk to boggles. Mm. Let us see if Una can talk to Boggles. Una might be telepathic. If you open up Una's stat block, you should be able to see if Una's telepathic. In the minions folder. In minions? Yes, if you open the heroes folder inside oh, in there. the compendium? No, in the journal. In a journal? In the journal oh, I... where your character sheet lives. Let me see if oh, I can... Maybe you can help thing. me find it. Because uh, yeah. I'm looking at Una's sheet. I don't see any... Minions. Okay, so you're looking at Una's sheet already. All right. Yeah. Then that's, let's take a look here. Under character sheets, you want to look at uh, languages, common and infernal. So Una does not have automatic telepathy and will only be able to communicate with the Boggles if they speak common or infernal. The last Let's time, most of the communication occurred in Sylvan, which is the only language they speak confirmed. Um... Can we do the whisper train again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see. Okay, well, first I'll give the plan to Una. Well, now in character of just. Well, Renobi beat Cryus and Renobi beat Ariana. And she smirked. She was saying some nasty things to Ariana. And I think she should learn her lesson. And then Una will probably be nodding, just, yeah. All right, I need you to keep Renobi up all night. Do not let her sleep. And Una will be like, yeah. I was like, if you want to get some help from some certain boggles to, you know, have a little extra prank day, whatever, it, whatever you would like to do. And here, some, something extra. I'll kind of hold Una's hands and give her a touch of Twilight spell. If in the morning she's, you know, trying to have a nap or trying to, you know, you're just feeling a little cranky, just 
give her one of these. But here's how you're going to get in and get out. Uno's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider form under the door, under the bed, imp, invisible. And now we do not want to get caught, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so noises, throwing shit, but don't ever reveal yourself. Just don't let her sleep. But also don't get caught. If you hear, if you see a big horseman, it's time to dip. <clears throat> and now, <laughs> there's a long time between the morning and the tournament, right, Una? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You follow me? Okay. So, spider form. Just hang around her. Like, you know, she won't notice a little spider hanging around her on her shoe or in her hair or something. I don't know. Don't get caught. I swear to God. And we'll, we'll touch a twilight. And that's it. That's the plan. All right. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> phase one, sneak into Renobi's room. Keep her up all night. I don't know if I know who Renobi's roommate is. Up all night. Because, yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> Renobi's roommate is in real Untamor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it is. I think it is Darina. Yeah, that's not going to last. Mm. <laughs> the, the caretakers are going to break that up soon. Um, Anyways. So, and then to go and see if the Boggles might want to help. And if, since they can't communicate with them, just be like, yo, come. Like, just kind of gestures just and... Pantomime it. I'm sure, like, just saying, like, come here, come on. And they're, they're going to follow and, and do that. But... Brings up, like, a placard that says Boggle Day 2. <laughs> <laughs> the electric Boggle Basically, if, she, if they get caught to kind of escape, dismiss themselves and then continue but not let her sleep more than like two hours basically all right you all get right. a short rest and nothing more that's the deal <laughs> q beastie boy sabotage um <laughs> chat does not approve <laughs> chat, chat did not approve so hard on this right now <laughs> <Ooh -ha>. the <laughs> boggles are tanking disadvantages there <laughs> they are they are oh man I think it's great. You know, as long as you don't get caught, that is. You get caught, I mean, gotta step in, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I thought of a fun way. What's one thing to beat cheesy spells? Well, if you don't have any spell slots, <laughs> so <laughs> that's the ultimate yep. counter. Yup. True. Oh my god. god. Okay, let us resolve this as uh, Una exits late at night, sneaks through the dorms in spider mode, creeps underneath the door, underneath ah. Renobi's bed, transforms into invisible imp mode. Oh no, no, first imp is gonna ask the Boggles for help. So creeps all the way down and has to find the Boggles in the Maze of Illusions. So- Oh no. <laughs> I need you to roll an investigation check or a survival check for Una with disadvantage. Okay. Disadvantage, so it should be I have disadvantage to go to button. skills. Uh, to... And if, if Una doesn't have investigation or survival, you pick just intelligence or wisdom and roll that. Yeah, I forgot where the skills are, so I'm just going to roll the wisdom. Okay. Una reports that <laughs> Una is lost in a glass cage of emotions. <laughs> Uh -oh. Trying to find the Boggles in the Maze of Illusions. <laughs> Start looking for him. Had a breakdown. <laughs> Alright, 10-4, Rodeo. Come back. Come back to base. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll, roll a survival check with disadvantage for Una to come back to base. I can't, like, help her, like, navigate because we telepathically can... Help. Yeah, you could try to help. Um, you can roll a survival or an investigation check with disadvantage because chat is just bombing you yeah. right now. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm trying to avenge my friends. This is what lawful evil is all about, kids. Uh, <laughs> you just got alignment my, check, chat. <laughs> no one abuses my friends except me. 
Uh, investigation yeah. or survival at a disadvantage. Ooh, an 18. Okay. Una has successfully exited the maze. Ah, <sighs> well, really, you couldn't just think that one through? Well, never. Yeah, again, just noise, throwing stuff around, and then get in and get out. Again, annoying. Don't hurt anybody. Do we model the annoyance off of the fluffy-haired elf or the glasses boy? What? We have learned much of being annoying from the mortals. Uh, be the boggle be that is the within boggle. you. Be Find the, the boggle, boggle within. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. I have... <laughs> so... Please roll a stealth check for Una with disadvantage because of chat, with advantage because tiny spider, and that means it's a flat roll. Okay, that hurt my brain. Oh my! And my my brain hurts so bad that it disconnected my camera. Hold on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you, you ever calculate so hard that you just freeze in time? Yeah. Right. Uh, math on lemon, <laughs> Lemon's camera roots an additional power to her brain instead. Uh, I'm giving it all she's got. Flat stealth. Flat stealth. Flat stealth, so which is whiz. Uh, dexterity. Although, no, no, Una is proficient in stealth. Una has a little thing for stealth on there. Oh, but it's like a different sheet if she's different creatures, right? Because don't they have different stats? Its statistics are the same in each form, except for the speed changes noted. Oh, so, okay. Una actually uses the same stats in every single form, except for her Una's speed. Oh, today I learned. So stealth is dexterity. So dexterity with a normal roll. No, you don't even roll dexterity. There's a, there's um, oh. you get plus two to that. So that was, no, you get plus three to that. No, plus two, herpaderp. Okay, so a 15. <laughs> All right, a 15 against Renobi's. Where is Renobi's step? There she is. Renobi's passive perception. Uh, that's a no. That is a no, unfortunately. All right. And that also beats Darina's passive perception. So, stealthily enters and gets under the bed. And achieves invisible mode. Now, roll to be annoying. <laughs> How do I do that? I would like to take this one, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's call it deception. Oh my God. Let's call it deception. That's a charisma-based skill. The imp is super annoying. I, I think that's going to work well. So this will also be with disadvantage because chat. Okay. Chat is annoying. Your ability to be annoying. A five. Uh, all right. How does like not being annoying work? So like no gives a shit. <laughs> they just think it's cute. They're like, aww. <laughs> Uh, Look at this spectral presence. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Una is attempting to like make noise and throw things and get stuck in the mattress. Gets like physically stuck because Una's covered in barbs and spikes and such. And so uh, spends the whole time burrowing holes. Not the whole time, but the first attempt to be annoying is wasted on burrowing holes and such and makes enough noise that they become suspicious and start searching. The jig is not yet up. Please roll another stealth check for Una as they actually look under the bed to see if they can find something. Uh, so this is like during the night while they're trying to sleep or like mm -hmm. when is this? This okay. is during the night when they're trying to sleep. Roll a stealth um, check, a, a normal flat stealth check. That's going to bring the last disadvantage off of Una. Was, uh, so that's deck. No, look on Una's character sheet. There's an entry for stealth under skills. Yeah, I just I can't see skills. I'm just dumb. I'm on character sheet. Normal disadvantage, advantage, public, Going actions. Down. Go down to the ability scores and go down right below the ability scores. Oh, skills. Okay, so roll stealth. A flat, normal stealth. Dirty 20. Oh. Okay. All right. Not bad. We take those. <laughs> I'm going to roll an investigation check for Renobi because she's physically searching under the bed and she has assistance on this from Darina. Uh oh. <laughs> Use your elf eyes, Darina. Uh, your elf oh, eyes. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's dumb as a brick. Oh no. <laughs> it's dark under there. Uh, fortunately, Una has dug enough damage into the mattress that Una is able to completely burrow inside the mattress. 
and leaves no and like holds the rip together in Una's little claws invisibly. So when Renobi and Dorina go searching under the bed, they don't find anything. They shrug and go back to sleep, which gives hours for Una to lay in wait before starting to poke, just poke up from <laughs> inside the mattress. I'm going to roll a constitution saving throw for Renobi, who has been absolutely dumped on with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> The will of a chat will be will be seen. A twenty-one. Ooh, she's got a plus three to concepts. She's tough. Damn. She's got hit points. Dang. Um, roll an attack for Una. Una's not actually trying to like attack and kill. This is just an abstraction of the annoyance efforts. So just roll sting or something. Yeah, roll sting. A twenty-two. You are successful in annoying and preventing Renobi from sleeping properly. Let's do that once more. And if both of these fail, Renobi gets such a bad night of sleep that she doesn't recover her spell slots. If only one of them succeeds, then she's going to get like some of them back. So it's like, <laughs> oh, she gets them back on short res? No, I'm just sort of abstracting. Oh, this. okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like you, <laughs> you like, absolutely <laughs> get something for your efforts right now. It's just a question <laughs> of how much you get for your efforts. Uh, roll another attack roll for Una. A sixteen, and Renobi oh. has another mm -hmm. advantage, which we're going to go ahead and use. A nineteen. Uh. Okay, so. Renobi only barely recovers any spells. Uh, I take those. And does... Does get her health back, obviously. And this but is why Garnet will inherit the earth. She only gets them back by spending her hit dice. She doesn't actually recover her health. So she has to spend her hit dice in order to get that rest. We will continue the machinations of Una, who has only begun this sabotage. That was only the night. The morning is still to come. Uh, we will continue with the machinations of Una in a moment. I wanted to check in to see if Athelor needed any, anything before going to bed. Uh, I think Athelor's okay. He and Alex probably just retired normally after the tournament. Mm -hmm. Alex is tired. Athelor's had the uh, the shit beaten out of him <laughs> <laughs> by a flaming spear. Yeah. No dramas, just like ow, I'm feeling I'm feeling moderately stabbed right now, like on a scale of one to stabbed. We're pretty what? high up there. It's <laughs> closer to stabbed than not stabbed. Exactly. So uh it's it's not an intriguing night for the old dawn elf. All right, off he goes to his trance. Uh Alexander, anything specific for you? Uh nothing specific. Probably just yeah, retire with uh Athlord together, maybe chat a little bit with him about the you know just uh, about the matches and stuff like that. Just Next time we're banning old person. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I wasn't thinking about banning spells. I didn't think, you know, you want to be able to showcase their abilities, but this one's really just, it's it's a bit much. I, yeah. Next time. <laughs> Are we going with like a pick ban system or something? <laughs> so I'm going to give you a list of all the spells I hate. <laughs> See what yeah. you can do. Everyone gets one ban from the opponent's spell list. <laughs> so we've got Blur, Hold Person, and Silvery Barbs here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for that one. Yeah. And I'm protecting Arms of Hadar. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. The DM would like to submit the lucky feat for banning. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> uh, oh, the stealth one, the one you hate. And pass without trace. It doesn't yeah. really matter in this case, but I'd ban it anyways out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a hate ban. That one's just for me. <laughs> it's not even meta. What? All right. <laughs> How do they ban Genji? No one's banned Genji. <laughs> even on this list <laughs> all right uh alexander anything else aside from discussing that with athalor as he prepares himself yeah just retire normally get good sleep be ready for tomorrow's matches and school and stuff okay the night is dark your sleep is troubled you dream dark things. An 
icy wind blows over an arctic wasteland before being cast into sharp relief by a blood red light you see a blade you see a spurt of blood you see three shadows around the one dying and as clear as you felt the regret, the despair of that warden whose death all too recently cast everything into chaos. You feel shock, horror, desperation, the grief, the adrenaline of one who failed to act, who couldn't save someone else's life, who failed in their duty to protect. Self-loathing rolls through you. Hatred and contempt for the self. You feel like you were so caught up in protecting yourself that you left those you were supposed to protect to their own fate. You used your power against the innocent and the helpless to do what you thought was the right thing. And instead, you let them come to harm. You let down your colleagues. You let down your charges. You left, you let down even your own memories of the past, of battles fought long ago. You swore you wouldn't let anyone else get hurt on your watch. And now one of your students is dead. And you awaken in an icy cold, shuddering start. I think Alex would, uh, on being, just waking up, look around the room. Is this like post Athelor trance or? He's still, you know, still eyes rolling in the back of his head. Wop, 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 wop. I think uh, Alex's thoughts will turn to the messenger after giving it a few moments of thought. Let's say, why? The Minotaur has failed. Has failed. Yes. I can feel it. Everything he's worked for crumbles in his hands. A hypocrite. There is glee, vicious delight in the messenger's voice. I guess this works towards your benefit, doesn't it? Regardless of if he's crumbling, it all serves to expose something, the truth. Yours if you're wise, Alexander. This truth will undo a great obstacle to your ascension. We shall punish the master of war for his failure. <laughs> I'm honest. Sorry. <laughs> Join the dark side. <laughs> 
I was just kind of nods to himself. <laughs> Punish him. Ascension. That sounds rather grand. You are the best of the best, are you not? <laughs> Your parents sent you here at great personal cost. I will see to it that their sacrifice is not wasted. Great cost. Alex kind of like says that more to himself than anything. Then kind of shakes, shakes it off. Let's make sure it wasn't all not for naught then. Indeed. See to it. I will. Alex kind of tries to uh, just like push his thoughts as much as he can away from the impact of death and try to just look towards what it means just like objectively mostly towards Untumaler and how now he's going to pay for slipping up all right you attempt to exercise mental discipline to allow yourself to focus on the objective on the plan on something logical to distance that the feeling you experienced as though it were your own from yourself to compartmentalize that eventually you're able to find your way back to the path of sleep and the day a new day dawns on IOP Academy. All right. The next day, all of you have your classes, all of you have your courses. And at the end of the day, we'll have the semifinals. Uh, Garnet, your match is second. But there are rumors going around. about what happened with the his John, the students who were abducted almost a week ago, some time ago. Uh, there are rumors that someone died. But the information is not, the information circulating is not completely clear and not completely certain just yet. After all, they could be talking about the body they found in the moat. But there are a lot of rumors going around right now. <laughs> we got a multitude of corpses here at Towson Wall, didn't mind us. <laughs> Good murder, Garnet. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> it's just I don't a even have the, you got the I don't even have the highest KDA anymore, all right? <laughs> 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 just... <laughs> Oof. All right. Uh, how will each of you spend your school day before we move on to the rest of the Clash of the, the Codex? As non-competitors, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. You are welcome to have a breakfast scene, and you're welcome to draw it to a close whenever you'd like. The floor is yours. What's the likelihood of us having heard said rumor at breakfast? Very high. The, the bare bones of information that I've given you would likely have made the rounds. Did you guys hear? A, a dead person? Is, is that... <laughs> Alex, Ethel kind of looks over at Alex like, is, is that our one or... <laughs> <laughs> is that ours? <laughs> they found kind your of... body. You know how wild the evidence would be gone, right? You jumped in the water? I mean, I don't know how they'd realize what happened anyway. It's not like it's overly visible. And as far as we're aware, neither of us carry big blades. No, I'm sure we've got a tiny dull one. This is something, something different. Are there any visible Kizjan members in the kitchenette? Uh, several of them are actually absent at the moment. Most of them, actually, are absent. 
They've all been called away to a different part of the school, to Parlona, which is at the northern edge of the ring. I would like to look at the nearest caretaker and cast Detect Thoughts. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Spicy. All right. Uh, you activate Detect Thoughts, and the surface thoughts of the caretaker are that Untermaler is fucked. <gasps> Guys. What level of fuck? <laughs> okay. So I'm having a little bit of a listen in over just vaguely gestures to the Ketika. Don't look. They think Untermola is fucked. Looks around because what? swearing is bad. <laughs> fucked. What do you mean? What did he do? Well, like it's his fault. I, I can I can see if there's anything more. I push deeper, DM. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and do you have detect thoughts on your character sheet? Because I do. That. Yeah, go ahead and click that just so that I can make Bam. call. All right. Uh, wisdom saving throw. 18. Resistance. And the caretaker is aware that somebody was prying in its thoughts. Starts looking around. Roll a deception check, please, oh, Athelor. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I'm busy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, wow, this is a really good bacon right here. <laughs> what a time to have inspiration. Oh, <laughs> oh Thanks, saved. Jack. All right, all right. Saved. Yep, saved. And that's your first inspiration burned. <laughs> 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 all right. You manage to avoid detection, but the caretaker not only looks around suspiciously, uh, casts detect magic, and like scans everybody. You can just drop concentration on the spell to avoid being caught. Uh, and, I like, think once it fails, it's like, oh, no, nope, never mind. Oh. Walks up and down uh -oh. the row, scanning everyone to see who is casting spells at the moment. See somebody messing with cantrips to change the flavor of their food to make it taste like um, rum. Uh, but it only tastes like rum, so they leave them <laughs> Under alone. Underage drinking? Keep going. Well, it only tastes like it. It's not alcoholic rum, you know? Simulating <laughs> underage drinking? <laughs> Isn't that what matters the most? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was Cooper who's sitting next to uh, Antioch who's giggling at him. Uh, they were One of them egged the other on. Looks at them, gives him the hairy eyeball, and just keeps moving on because it's actually harmless. Carry on. I didn't get much more than that, but apparently, yeah, he's fucked. So did he kill him? I, what, the, the, the new body? I, I don't know. I mean, probably could. DM question. Would it be clear from Alex's dream, like, what actually occurred in, like, that vision? Roll insight, please. <gasps> big money, big money, no whammies. <laughs> 13. 13. Vague money. You believe that Untermaler witnessed the death of a student who was in his custody. But didn't actively contribute to it. That's what Correct. Alex would believe. It, oh, it, okay. it isn't, oh, I did this. It's, oh, I let this happen. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I have a bit more perspective on this matter. This is the juiciest gossip. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, kind of helps when you have a bit of a uh, otherworldly connection, I suppose, who likes keeping tabs on things. Um, Untermalo was there when it happened. He didn't so do anything? He couldn't do anything. Was he too weak? Too distracted. Untermaler. How could he not do anything? Too distracted. He could have if he was not trying to preserve just himself. That's so weird. I don't want to say it's actually never mind. He First should have he been. He can't keep phase in check and now he can't even keep the children the the students safe. Hello? Why is he here? 
I asked that about a lot of people here, actually, recently. What do you mean? In terms of a faculty or for students? Hmm. Faculty, I suppose. Hell, now is a war criminal. I off hey, is breaking hey, his own. Hey, what do you... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Allegedly. <laughs> and she's... <laughs> Alex, we're at breakfast. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's more crimes than breakfast. You know too, the rules. Too strong for breakfast. I'm until proven sorry. guilty, Alex. Come on. I, you're right. I don't. I don't know Elnau's past. You know more than any of us. But I know you trust Elnau, and she's important to you. But the knights wouldn't be looking. The knights wouldn't be looking for her for nothing. Yeah. And now Ioth's trying to unmake his own sphere. Nothing really makes sense, it seems, these days. Do you think he's trying to take it back? Maybe he's done sharing. Ioth? Yeah. Like, we have limited dawn magic, right? And some of it's channeled into this sphere for protection, but maybe Ioth feels that they need... All of it for themselves. It's a bit strange to do it without a sort of uh, announcement or something. Just letting us fend for ourselves. These fey incursions could have caused deaths on their own, you know. Almost did. Yeah, but Im imagine if they said that we were no longer safe here. Like, how hectic it would be with that many fledgling mages. Getting nervous, panicking. It would be... Carnage. Send all of us home. All of us that have one. Keep the sphere point. up until then. It could be done. It's choosing not to. Maybe. If that's what's actually happening. Renobi emerges blearily from her room just barely in time to grab some food. Not a rough night. She looks pretty bad. Did, did she fight yesterday? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was that hard for her. And she kicked Cryus's ass. <laughs> yeah. Although he, he did actually damage her a lot. She was, was down close, to like six right? health. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. close. Oh. I guess you're just that intimidating of an opponent, Garnet. He she should have focused time. on getting her rest. I don't know. She <laughs> <laughs> should, should, should be up all night. I don't know. Yes, you can roll inside if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's what dueling cheesy and what of millennials could afford houses if they didn't buy so many iPhones. No avocado toast for you. 17. You want to <laughs> oppose that with a deception check, Garnet? Or do you want to let it ride? Yeah, this, might is, be this a... is only Alex who's, you know, only Father, the, the, uh, the T.O. Father Alex is not going to be pleased. Uh, hmm. Alex, that you, that was a weird thing for her to say. Insight is not, <laughs> you know, insight is not the same as detect thoughts, but that was rather, yeah. rather, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Sussy. Sussy. <laughs> 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 there, might, there might be a dueling cheater among us, you know? Uh, I didn't know you had that much spite towards Renobi. She'd be Nick. Ariana. Yeah, I gotta avenge my girl. What? And she was quite Who's dramatically that? mean to Ariana. Who are you guys cheering She's on a little here? mean. Yeah. yeah. She said some yeah. mean stuff. I did not agree with that. The, so the rumors, uh, you know, it's fine. Rumors are rumors. Never mind. What rumors? Well, just you know, people are talking about Ariana left her alone at the gala. You know, oh, maybe this again. Yeah, no, it's we've been over this. It's. I'm just saying that, like, maybe Renobi saying a couple mean things was like okay. They're even. It was a little warranted, I will say. Oh, well, there we go. We still defend you'll, each other. Of course, you're free to feel as you will. Darn it, I'm not saying anything about it. That's and she you. be Cryus. 
resolve that in mm. the arena. Raya should have won. But whatever. Yeah, surprised that he lost, to be honest, but. Good point. It happens. Hopefully, we'll see you in the finals, can't it? Yeah, best of the best. Best of the best, baby. You see uh, Cryus sitting down at breakfast with a spell scroll and his spell book, and he's just going back and forth, copying it as he stuffs a piece of toast in his mouth. He's learning whole person. <laughs> he's a learning whole person. <laughs> of course. Yes, it's man. <laughs> He tried to beat him. He couldn't beat him. It's time to join him. Uh, anything else before you proceed to the rest of your classes for the day? I think it's a kind of closing remark to loop it back. Alex will say, well, we'll see what happens with Untermala, but it might, um, might not be good for him. Is he anyone here in Untermala's week? class? Yes. Hello. Is, yeah. yeah, his class is canceled today. <laughs> True. Oh. And, uh, free period. Yeah, you get a free you get a free period, and uh, updates will follow shortly. Do, do I know that it's cancelled? Is there like a, yes. a an you hour? Are, you oh. yes, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are notified. All the students who are in that class are notified that uh, that class will be cancelled today. Um, don't worry about it. We'll follow up on your schedule for tomorrow. Athlaw would share this with the class. All right. Plus, uh yeah, between between periods, we're able to meet up, and he shares that information with you. Free period? Oh, I don't know what to do with myself in a free period. This is oh, we've got more midterms. I opt into additional study for excellent, <laughs> excellent <laughs> What a nerd! Good choice. Good choice. All right. Yeah, maybe. Is there anything we else please. we want to cover before we proceed to the semifinals? Of the Clash of the Codex. I'm going to have Una deliver the spell I gave okay. them. Can you drop that spell in chat, please? Yup. Is there a way for me to like not have damage? Or is it like the spell has to come as it is? Or I've let you do this mm -hmm. before. If you spend a point of inspiration, I'll let you not have it inflict damage. You know, it's... Inspiration. Okay, I can't even open my sheet right now. What's going on? Is it being slow? Refresh. Or is it? Yeah, give it. Give it the old F five. I use Control R. I'm old school. Showing off those big hands. <laughs> White screen of death. Loading emoji. Loading, loading, <laughs> loading. Servers are exploding. Truth. It really is. I'm stuck on a loading page. Uh, it's Touch of Twilight, if you can see it on your end. Yeah, I should be able to pull it up. How many level one spell slots do you get, Garner? They're all max level spell slots. Garner oh, gets two, only two spell slots. They always cast at her max level, and they refresh on a short rest. Warlocks are and warlock-style casters, every single fight, they can just hit, hit you with their best attacks. Okay. But then they need a rest before they do it later. Okay, I managed to pull it up. So excellent. Drop it. <laughs> All right. Mm. If Renobi takes two d ten points of necrotic damage, sorry, three d ten, three d ten points of necrotic damage, she will notice that. <laughs> that will not be subtle. That would. Your average commoner has like four hit points. This would kill the crap out of a normal human being. This will not be subtle if you do this. So can I, how many inspirations do I have? Let us check. Probably uh, zero, but you know, just check for, well, for the, thing. For the <laughs> ha -ha. So it started, you had negative two. Started sabotaging negative two. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, you got two. You have two inspiration floating around. <laughs> Hey, I'll use one to negate the damage and okay. just give her the exhaustion level. All right. Spider mode to deliver the bite. Yep. <laughs> and roll an, uh, a bite attack or what kind of attacks does... No, no, no. You roll the attack. So on your character sheet under attacks, click touch of twilight. 
Okay. Not under your spells, under your attacks. So do I get any advantage because it's like a surprise? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. you do. Yes, you do. Um, also, because you're making this roll, you actually have disadvantage. Uh, so that negates it. So you still take the 17, which is fine. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good thing. Well, some that, big damage, too. All right. So, <laughs> Renobi is now, nice. now has one level of exhaustion. Uh, all that's going to do is make it so <laughs> she has disadvantage on her skill rolls. During uh, the roll. Yeah. All right. So, is there, so there's no exhaustion from her taking short rest instead of long rest from the night? No exhaustion, but she lost some spell slots. Who? Well, still a dub. Or not dub, but at least there's some... When I got use out of this tournament. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you've stacked the deck. Uh, <laughs> is there anything else we need to handle before we move on? Nope. Okay. All right. Let us proceed to the Clash of the Codex semifinals. There Ooh, are... Baby. Noticeably fewer people in the stands today. Also, restore all of your health, please. Yeah, I got a good idea. <laughs> there's, there's a non-zero chance that some of the members of the Kids John are not in attendance today. And by the time that you emerge from this duel, the latest issue of their newsletter, their newspaper, will be making the rounds with a shocking story. Oh, my. Yeah. But by the time that you enter... You're still entirely focused on this upcoming duel. You do see Ruby in the stands, uh, hanging out with some of her friends, and just keeping an eye to see, see what you've got. Oh. Show me what you got. Absorbing information, watching, watching tape. I like don't care. I'm like waving to like Ariana, Athlor, <laughs> Alex, and like cries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. The two of you enter uh, after Ruby has completed her duel in which she defeated the very, very strong tiefling wizard, uh, Le Lexali, who was a very, very strong contender all up to this point. There are a lot of whispers about Garnet as she enters. Since last time, she did some stuff. Some weird stuff that nobody really understood. Nobody knew like what that spell was. Nobody could ID it. Uh, slightly confusing. So there's some whispers as you enter. Overall, the mood is a lot lower than it ought to be for such a major event. Anyways. Enough with all this talk. Uh, Renobi doesn't really bear you any ill will at this point. She, she knows Garnet, you know. Grown I gave up her together. that flower once. Yeah, yeah. So the two of you are... Hold back. <laughs> there we go. Remember? I gave you hey, that you remember flower. <laughs> We're friends, right? <laughs> exactly. So she's tired. She's not feeling great. Um, but she's looking forward to the fight. And she gives you a friendly wave. And... Um, doesn't really do any shit talking or, or head games like she's been doing with some of these foes. She doesn't really seem to have to be into it. She's just trying to stay focused, do her stretches, you know, limber Does up. She look get ready. like off. Roll insight, please. Yes, she looks off her game. I probably like walk up and like tell her to come here before mm -hmm. the game starts. Yeah, she'll cross over. Um, hey. <laughs> hey, uh, long, good job. Long time against... no see. Sorry, what? Long time no see. Uh, I mean, you know, except for the codex meetings and stuff, but you know, people are always talking in those. It's not like we actually hang out at them. If you're paying attention, that is. So, I know right now we're kind of have to be enemies on the field, but my dad always said that enemies have a lot more in, in common than they like to think. Um, specifically, the Gala. You were upset at Ariana about that. Not anymore. Can I roll insight? Yeah, roll insight. 
Natural 20. <laughs> she's not she's not upset anymore at all. Well. We both got ditched at the gala. That's yeah. something we have in common. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Ah, it's not your fault. But that damn <laughs> Athalor, huh? Yeah. He's a type, you know. Where did I put my boggles? <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing boggles from the stands. <laughs> Get him, young boggles. See, uh, I was with Ariana that night. She left you at the gala. Yeah. You know, you just... We don't have to do this fight, but if, you know, you look all injured, you know, Ariana would just be really concerned. And on top of that, I could even tell you what, why she left you at the gala. <laughs> Wow, okay. Roll a persuasion check, please. Or deception, your choice. Hey, yo. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that girl's like, what the... <laughs> Am I being pimped? <laughs> Am I being pimped? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Am right. I a bargaining chip? Mental warfare. Oh, man. Gaslight girl boss Garnet, excuse me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, she got a 12 on it. Oh my god. This is actually happening right I now. I even saw them kiss. <clears throat> <laughs> she just kind of smirks and... <laughs> Tell you all about it. But you'd have to... We'd have to end this fight. <laughs> she... Squints at you, seeing you perhaps in a slightly different light. Before she responds, I'll say, Athelor broke my heart too. I mean, I'm not happy about this situation more than you are. I cast hormones at fifth level. <laughs> She mutters, let's get this over with. And turns around and starts walking away. Darn, no fun. <laughs> she walks the other way. <laughs> I would like to cast a text thoughts on Renobi. <laughs> on what? On Renobi. Do you want to? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um... The surface level thoughts are, I really, really was not upset with Ariana, uh, but now I might be again. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe Garnet thought she could talk me out of this. I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to try my best. I don't quit. I don't give up. Why is she acting so weird? Freaking <laughs> Athelor. God. I feel kind of bad for Alex now, honestly. I mean, to do with this menage a trois. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can also determine that her mental state is, as we say in the business, shook. <laughs> Does that mean uh, anything I'm... in the D and D world, or like? Yeah, it's going to have out. an impact on. Like, you didn't talk her out of doing this fight because it would. What you offered was not worth it to her. She cares. She is a competitor. Uh, but it is messing her up. All right. Uh, I'll serve a connection with Renobi. Telepathic claws into Ghana for just a moment. Whatever you mm -hmm. said, it's definitely working. She is a little bit wrecked. I look over at Athelor. I'm... Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Athel was like, and this sounds like. <laughs> I like do a pom pom motion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want a good, clean fight. No disintegrations. 
Let us roll <laughs> for initiative. <laughs> I forgot to click my token, but you get it. Uh, I should I should get one XP every time people don't click their tokens. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen if we do a, a campaign with more combat. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. That's the fuck. Round one. Preparation round. Renobi goes first. Renobi will cast mage armor on herself, increasing her armor class. And she is going to, let's see. She's going to hold her ground. Your turn. Round one, what do you do? I cast my shadow, and that'll be the round for me, standing okay. my ground and just locking eye contact the mm -hmm. whole time. All right. Noir um, appears somewhere within five feet of you. Oh, can I not move him yet? No, you can move him. He has to appear because he's like 10 feet back from you. So he's actually supposed to appear yeah. directly adjacent to you. Not five feet away, oh. but like within five feet of you. So he'll probably just like move through me and then in front of me. Mm -hmm. Kind of here. Okay. This is a concentration effect. So you are now concentrating on Noir's existence. Oh, shit. Okay. And it's Renobi's turn. Renobi is tired and upset and casts Hold Person on you. But her head is not in the game. Roll a saving throw with advantage, but with disadvantage because Chad is just absolutely firebombing you. So roll a flat saving throw, please. And burn reason disadvantages your... don't work in tournament. They do not work in tournaments. That is correct. So True. you still have three of those left. No, you still oh, have two. You still have two. You still have two. And yeah, that doesn't work. So roll a wisdom saving throw with advantage, please. An 18, you resist the spell. She swears. Angrily. And holds her ground. What do you do? Um, wait, so she can cast that shit from... 60 feet. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <laughs> uh, next round, I will move. Twenty-five feet. Mm -hmm. Have noir move. There is it thirty feet that they have. I forgot shit. Yes. Uh, if you shift double click on noir, you'll get the character sheet popped up for you, and that'll have all forty feet. Forty feet. Oh. Oh, oh we have fast boy. What the hell? I just got all the way up to her. Oops. Not inside of her. There we go. <laughs> and gonna start with a. Sh Shutters and clouds as my action to mm -hmm. create that dim light circle. Um, so 40 feet radius. Mm -hmm. So pretty much. Covers the entire arena. Yep. As you plunge it into darkness. All right. And Noir moved, correct? Yeah. Noir oh, wait. So um, I guess they can move on their turn. So. Doesn't no, make Noir, a difference. Noir goes on your turn. We're just going to have Noir go on your initiative. Okay. But like after me, technically, or does Either. It matter? Same turn. Okay. On your turn, um, do your moves, your actions, Noir's moves, Noir's actions. So they'll use their bonus action to hide. Okay. Roll a stealth uh, check for Noir. Uh, Noir. So stealth with. Oh, no. It's. How does this work? Is it. Just flat stealth. Stealth plus six. Okay. Mm hmm. It doesn't say stealth on the sheet. You're going to have to do it manually. So then... Because the bonus changes. Is it like wisdom then? Nope. 1d20 plus 6. Oh, okay. 
me six. 21. Wow, that would beat Renobi's passive perception on a good day. Go ahead and roll an attack with advantage. Oof. That is good, but not good enough to hit through that armor, unfortunately. So even with the stealth, even with Renobi being sleepy and bleary, uh, she jumps out of the way at the last minute. Would have hit, except that the, ar the claws strike against the magical armor, invisible armor she's wearing around herself. Clang! And fails to connect. Do you have anything else? You've used an action. Oh. Your minion has used an action. I think you're done. Yeah. Okay. Renobi is going to cast Misty Step. Mm, no, she doesn't want to do that, actually. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, she's going to cast Misty Step. As a bonus action, she does a little pirouette and teleports directly in front of you. Nothing personnel, kid. Mm hmm. <laughs> Rude. And then she's going to do a cartwheel around you, rolling with disadvantage because she's tired. Ooh, eight. Oh. <laughs> All right. She, you managed to block her. She stumbles and only moves 15 feet away, kind of completely fouling up the entire purpose of this move. Yeah, completely oh. fouling up the purpose of this move. So uh, I don't get attack of opportunity. Do you have right? a melee weapon? Or the really warcaster feat. You can only make an attack of opportunity with a cantrip if you have the warcaster feat. Normally, people can't do that. Or a melee weapon. Oh. Draw. Yeah. Okay, then no. All right. So she attempted that maneuver. It doesn't go according to plan. Now that she's on the uh, flanking side of you, she's going to cast Firebolt. This is a normal roll, not a disadvantage roll. She shoots a Firebolt at you. That is not a hit. <laughs> unlucky. Very unlucky. That really screwed her over. Uh, <laughs> the whole point of that was to get out of range of the shadow. And buy her another round. But she didn't pull it off. Okay. It is your turn. Uh, going to have... Hey, hold that thought for a moment. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. uh -oh. Pesky pixies. <laughs> ah, I'm over the collection. God damn it. <laughs> uh, all right, take your turn. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, hiding as a bonus action for noir. Uh, oh yeah, so, uh, 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 sheet, uh, I can't have both of them open. Wait, can I? Oh wait, I can. Mm -hmm. I'm a dipshit. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so I have to roll 1d2, sorry. It's all roll good. 1d20 plus 6. For the stealth. Yeah, very stealth. Much stealth. Very wow. Very wow. Super invis. And we're gonna roll up 40 Feet like here, mm -hmm. and then do a little attack with advantage. Yep, from stealth, roll an attack with advantage. The attack goes for an OB, hits the music play button on the way, just for start <laughs> point. <laughs> that oh, I had my music muted. Okay, now is a hit. You are not in one-winged angel mode, so you don't inflict additional necrotic damage. You just deal five necrotic damage and roll 1d4 for strength drain. Four. Oof. Renobi shrinks and winces as her already slight frame almost collapses under its own weight. She's going to use her reaction to cast Hellish Rebuke 
on the shadow. Oh. You are, please roll a dexterity saving throw. Do I just roll dex? If Noir doesn't have a dexterity save, you just roll dex. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where those are. Okay, well, that's not going to be good enough. The good news is Noir is resistant to fire damage. So you only take eight points of that damage. Noir is still at half health, however. Wait, oh, it's not half if it's resistant? It is half, but I cast at higher level, so that was 16 oh, damage. Six yep, yep. Uh, how do I change Noir's health? Oh, took, my camera DC'd again. Um, I took care of it, but when you click on a character, three little buttons pop up, three little bubbles pop up. Yeah. The oh, green okay. one is health. If you click that and just type minus eight and hit enter, it'll do the math for you. Okay, and you did that already. I already did that, but that's how I always do it because doing math is for suckers. Cast All right, and math. then what does Garnet do? I'm going to do my angel mode. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, there's so many character sheets. Welcome to my world. Uh, <laughs> DM it? training for Lemon. Are Alexander, Athelor, and Ariana all in attendance? Yeah. Athelor right. definitely is. Yep. Right. Cool. So you use your action. The minute you transform, other creatures within 10 feet of you, which includes Renobi, must save Charisma or become frightened of you. What is your charisma modifier? Plus four. Plus four, okay. So, Renobi has to save DC 14 on this or become frightened. Oh, she gets a plus two to this actually. Oh, it doesn't matter. She's not scared. She's She absolute. doesn't get disadvantage from the Exhaustion, or no, it's- Nope, that's only well, that's on- saving. Yeah, you need oh. more exhaustion to hit saves. One level of exhaustion is just skill oh, yeah, checks. Right. Like, the acrobatics roll still screwed her, because otherwise your uh, your shadow would have had to dash, and then she would have gotten a free shot. Okay. Okay. Oh, angel mode activated, and I will- Oh, what do I do here? I think I'm still gonna fuck off. <laughs> I think we continue to fuck off. That should be. I'd like to roll to fuck off. Is that where I was? Okay, 30. Yeah, 30 feet the other way. Okay. And that's it. All right. Unbeknownst to our combatants, a faint flicker of invisible pixies floats into the arena, intent on wreaking havoc. They see a formal, organized duel, and they will have. None of this. It is Ren <laughs> Renobi's on. turn. And yeah, th there are people in the crowd being loud, being rowdy, blowing vuvuzelas, uh, booing <laughs> Garnet. There's people cheering for Garnet as well, obviously. So I don't know if Garnet really picks up on that. But there's, there's definitely crowd noise at the moment and a vuvuzela. Okay. Oh, Renobi uh. is going to use her last spell slot, her last second level spell slot, to try to hit you with a quickened hold person, Garnet. Roll a wisdom saving throw. Just a flat, no advantage? Correct. The advantage was because you got into her head once. That saves. That saves, and she is out. And she spent her sorcery points to make that quickened. So, somewhat in desperation, she's going to move around the shadow, not provoking an attack of opportunity because she doesn't leave its threatened area, and she's going to cast a firebolt at you. She has to deal some damage. She has to break your concentration on this shadow, or she's in big trouble. Firebolt. Oh. Okay, that is absolutely a hit. Do you have any reactions or anything that you can use against that? Uh, it's fire damage, then no. Okay. Take 10 points of fire damage and roll a constitution saving throw to retain your spell, your shadow. Uh, let's Eight, lucky dice ten. that. Yep, lucky dice still work. <laughs> Bro, any in, oh wait, I, oh wait, we can't use inspos and stuff, right? On Correct. Or, the yeah. saving throw is exactly 10. 
Really? Yes. Oh. So <laughs> you actually did successfully save on that. I got freaked out from nothing. <laughs> <then, I guess. laughs> That's how lucky it works. You, you make the decision after the roll is made, but before you know the results. So yeah. there we go. And that's all she can do. That is all she can do. She is looking very unhappy right now. Not desperate and afraid, but just... Ugh. It is your turn. What do you do? Can I tell if she looks like... Done, exhausted, tired? She definitely looks tired. She hasn't taken that much damage, but that strength drain did a number on her. She can't take too many of those. Are you... Sh I kind of yell out. Are you sure you you want to keep doing this? I, I can make this look really like close. <laughs> Roll a persuasion or deception check, your choice. <laughs> Twenty five. You can see Renobi thinking about it, and she shakes her head wearily and gives you a bring it on. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna walk up to her. Have my shadow do a little hide maneuver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll start with the... Just oh. slipping in and out of the dim light that you've dragged down throughout this entire area. 18 is good enough. Um, going to have, let's, let's have the strength drain first. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely a hit. Roll 1d4 for necrotic damage. Or for strength drain. All right. She's or lost. Holy cocks. Everyone. We take I'd... the first one. We take the first one. So she's taken seven points of strength. She can barely stand right now. And she's going to use her reaction to cast a level one hellish rebuke on that damned shadow. <laughs> Leave him alone. Roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, for the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Renee rolling, rolling like on. shit. <laughs> and so is my fucking shadow. Mm -hmm. That's a fail. Be resistant. It only takes two damage. Go ahead and subtract two from Noir. Minus two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hit enter. Yep, yep. And now it is your turn. I wish I did this first, but I'm going to cast that spell you gave me and that I don't have in my character sheet. Mm -hmm. I uh, sent did I send it to you in chat? Yeah, you sent me a screenshot. Okay, let me let me find it. It's 15 foot cone, 46 people who can hear me. Mm -hmm. Destructive resonance. All right. Garnet's eyes go dark as she taps into the power of the void. Token change. Token change. Fuck. Inutterable noises emerge as she speaks in a language. The mere sound of it erupts across the battlefield. And Renobi rolls a wisdom saving throw. Roll 4d6. Oh, and it is a 15-foot cone, so you didn't frag Noir. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then... What? And then does the extra necrotic count for this? This, this does psychic damage, not necrotic oh, damage. Okay. So Renobi does take 16 points of... Oh no. Oh no. Oh. oh. That's exactly how many hit points that you had. Damn. Damn. That is that is an absolute shame because mere moments afterwards, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw, please, Garnet. Pardon. <laughs> this just be equivalent of taking a bow after a door. As you avoid being turned into a chicken by an invisible pixie, that was 
literally about to take its turn, which would have absolutely called interference and the whole match into question if they'd had a chance and if you hadn't dropped Renobi in that exact round. Oh, man. Speedrunner. Uh, I was ready to do some TOBS. Gaius uh, <laughs> is also watching eagerly with like uh, cheering for Garnet with his hand, you know, just watching in awe as all this happens. So much to the point that, oh yeah, he also does not turn into a chicken. <laughs> by oh, any means. that's good. Um, Athelor, Ariana, and Alex, I'd like each of you to roll 1d20, please. Uh-oh. Bloody hell. Here we go. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, high We're rolling rolls, today, high gamers. Rolls. I had Ew. two pixies left, so I'm going to have uh, Alexander and Ariana roll wisdom saves to avoid be being turned into chickens. Wisdom save? Wisdom saves, uh. please. 21. You're not a chicken. That's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ariana turns into a chicken. <laughs> the sound of sparkling laughter emits throughout the entire arena as one of the pixies finds their target and they flee invisibly. Uh, Ariana, you are a chicken. <laughs> no! Sig's like, what the fuck have you done with this Mordain? <laughs> <laughs> Just like a sprig of Mordain in the beak. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome to Breaking Beak. <laughs> uh I'm gonna say that what is what is what's 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 Matt's character's name? The the caretaker who keeps an eye on things? Dart. Dart. Yeah. Dart's gonna try to dispel the chicken spell. <laughs> and successfully, so you don't have to spend ah! an entire an entire hour as a chicken, but everyone does see you get turned into a chicken. They That's find great. it highly amusing. It would be funnier if it hadn't already happened to somebody else. Um, but also, Renobi is down and unable to respond or see the chickenification after all the gaslighting that occurred earlier. So she <laughs> derives no satisfaction from it. Um, Can but, I say something quickly to Renobi? Yeah, absolutely. Probably, like, she had such, like, a stiff, like, angry, petty face. But then she probably, like, walks up and that, like, all changes back to, like, a soft, normal kind of expression. Gives her a hand and says... Athelor kissed her. She didn't kiss back. So, and then we'll kind of help her up. Roll persuasion check. Oh, shit. Sorry, I put my sheet away. Persuasion. Please. Please. Okay. Uh, after being revived, she looks over, can't seem to find Ariana because she still hasn't been de chicken. Um, <laughs> she's like underneath the stands and just out of sight. She seems to take some sort of comfort in that. And she didn't leave because she ditched you. There was some... She needed to help a friend. And she would have stayed with you if she could. Need to so. help a friend with some dry lips. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. And on that note, we'll go ahead and cut to our break, folks. Let's stick around. We'll be right back.